Hey everyone, Chrissy here, and tonight we're at Disney's Jollywood Nights, which is a brand new event for this year. So join me in this video as we go through all of the details of this event to help you decide if this would be something for you and your family. So let's get into it. Disney's Jollywood Nights is a brand new after hours event that takes place at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is a separately ticketed event and prices range between $159 to $179 depending on the date that you go. The party officially starts at 8.30 p.m. and goes until 12.30 a.m., but you can get into the park as early as 7. What's unique about this event is that it's themed as a glamorous holiday party that seems to be geared more towards adults. So you're invited to dress up in your holiday best and there's several parties and soirees to attend throughout the park. We went on opening night and when you first arrive, you'll make your way over to the designated party goers entrance where you'll receive your party wristband and lanyard which will distinguish you from the rest of the daytime guest. You'll also get a party guide and a map which will have all of the details of the event. As you make your way down Hollywood Boulevard, you'll be welcomed to Jollywood with a DJ who will fill the air with a mix of new and old holiday tunes. During the party, there will be several locations where you can meet Disney characters dressed in their festive holiday outfits. In Animation Courtyard, you could meet Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, and Pluto. And there's also a DJ here as well. Around Echo Lake is a holiday celebration where you can meet Max as Powerline, Chip and Dale, and Phineas and Ferb. And in Pixar Plaza is Holidays a la Mode where you can meet Edna Mode and Frozone. There are also a few specialty photo spots all around the park where you can get some unique photos. We tried the robotic arm magic shot which can be found in the animation courtyard area. You can choose to do either the slow-mo or celebration shot while this robotic arm will move around for a very cinematic shot. It wouldn't be a party without some specialty food and drinks that you can only get during the party. And top of my list was the Gertie cookie that you could pick up at Gertie's Ice Cream of Extinction. These Christmas cookies are all handmade and have mint icing. And who doesn't love Gertie the Dinosaur, who is an icon of Hollywood Studios? We also stopped at Dockside Diner, which is also on Echo Lake. And here we picked up the poutine tots, the spicy pimento kimchi dip, the Christmas tree cookie stack, and a Sandy Claus hot cocoa. The kimchi dip was by far my favorite item that we tried of the night, and I highly recommend it if you're heading over to Dockside Diner. You can also enjoy some of your favorite attractions during the party as well, like Slinky Dog Dash, Toy Story Mania, Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, and Rise of the Resistance, which will have a virtual queue. Now, let's get into some of the themed entertainment that's exclusive for the party. In Commissary Lane, you can enjoy Holiday Fiesta in La Calle. This area is themed as a holiday street fair where you can enjoy some energetic Latin music while enjoying some drinks and treats. Over by the entrance to the Tower of Terror is where you can attend the Twilight Soiree at the Tip Top Club. Here you can sip on some fancy cocktails while enjoying the sounds of a live band. While you're here, make sure to keep an eye out for the projection show on the Tower of Terror. Occasionally during the night, the tower will transform with a few different short shows. We saw it transform into the Hollywood Toy Hotel with presents and toys. Then it turned into a gingerbread house. And lastly, it transformed into a cozy fireplace with stockings. The projection show lasts about a minute long each, so make sure to check it out while you're here. 
Uh, the Brown and Derby is jazzy holidays, which transforms into a jazz club. However, to do this, you need to join the virtual walk-up line since capacity is limited. And this fills up really fast, and unfortunately, we did not get to see inside. As with the other Disney parties, Jollywood has three main attractions that are a must to see for every party goer. First, there is the Disney Holidays in Hollywood stage show that's located in the Theater of the Stars, which is the same theater for the Beauty and the Beast show during regular park hours. This is a dynamic musical stage show that has all the glitz and glamour of a vintage Hollywood TV special. All of the music is played by a live band on stage, and you'll see some special appearances from Mickey and Minnie who sing and dance along in their holiday attire. This is also hosted by Kermit the Frog and the fabulous Miss Piggy. This show is nearly 30 minutes long and has four different show times throughout the night. How many hosts does this show need? How big is your trailer? You're still be talking about the jacuzzi dinner because I explicitly asked for one and I did not get one. We'll be back, folks. Uh, probably. Okay, go on, Piggy. We better start digging our way out of here. You did it. Oh, my God. The next exclusive event is What's This? Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along. This show takes place in the Hyperion Theater, which is the same theater where Frozen sing-along takes place during regular park hours. During this show, you'll join Jack Skellington as he invites you on a dreamlike adventure exploring some of your favorite songs from Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. You'll sing along with songs from the movie, including What's This? Oh no, what's this? The hanging mistletoe, they kiss, why that looks so unique? Kidnap the Sandy Claus sung by the mischievous trio Lock, Stock, and Barrel. The hauntingly beautiful Sally song. And Oogie Boogie's song, which includes a special appearance from the one and only Oogie Boogie. When the star Oogie Boogie says the trouble goes at hand, you better pay attention now. I'm no good man. This show is about 20 minutes long and has four show times and is absolutely a must do if you are a fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas. The grand finale of the night is Jingle Bell Jingle Bam, which takes place at the Chinese Theater. Here, you can watch the night skies come alive with fireworks, lasers, lights, projections, merry music, and holiday moments from some of your favorite Disney films. There's only one show each night at 12.30 a.m., and it lasts about 15 minutes. And by the way, if you're finding this information helpful, I would love it if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you would love to discover more fun things to do like this, especially in my beautiful state of Florida. I release a new video every week, and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. So if you are planning on heading to Jollywood Nights this year, here are a few things to keep in mind. The party officially starts at 8.30 and ends at 12.30, so that only gives you four hours to enjoy the festivities. That's not a ton of time to do everything, so you'll definitely need to prioritize what you want to do throughout the night. With Jollywood Nights, you are allowed to enter the park at 7 p.m. That gives you an extra hour and a half to enjoy the parks. So if you want to ride any rides while you're there, I highly recommend utilizing this extra time to knock out at least one or two rides before the party begins. We use this time to catch the nightly showing of Fantasmic while we were there, which is always one of my favorite things to do. If you do plan on going to the Brown Derby during your night, the check-in starts at 8.15 and you'll definitely want to be on your phone and physically nearby the Brown Derby in order to join the walk-up list. You can find the walk-up list via the app by searching the Brown Derby restaurant. 
On opening night, the waitlist booked up really fast, so we were not able to get in, but they do open spots throughout the night. So if you really want to check it out, you'll want to make sure to check the app intermittently throughout the night. I highly recommend planning your evening around the event exclusive entertainment. There's several show times and definitely the highlight of the night. In the beginning of the night, a lot of people headed to the Twilight Soiree at the Tip Top Club, and the line to get in was well over an hour when the event first started. And I don't think it was worth eating up an hour of your precious four hours to get into the soiree. We found that we were able to just walk in later in the evening with no wait times. Most of the exclusive food items all had a long wait throughout the night, so to be safe, I would make sure to allocate at least 30 minutes to grab each food item as you're planning your night. I know we waited at least 20 to 30 minutes to pick up the Gertie cookie, so just keep that in mind. And last but not least, don't forget to dress to impress in your holiday best. I loved that this was more of a glitz and glamour event, so make sure to pack some dressier attire if you're traveling to the event. If you made it this far in the video, I would love to hear from you on Instagram, where I release content almost daily on the videos that I'm currently working on. If you're heading to Mickey's very Merry Christmas party as well, then you're in luck because I've got an absolute guide that will walk you through absolutely everything at the party to help you plan your night. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have a magical night and go out there and enjoy some Florida sunshine.